Now, all three topics, experts say, will be on the ballot, which leads to our top story tonight, voting. Local 24 News committed to helping you make your vote count. And Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher breaks down what action you should take if you're challenged at the polls. So far, it's been a highly turbulent presidential election, but will that spill over onto election day for voters? Well, I think there's a lot of things going on actually on both sides of the aisle. I think that the division in the country right now. Under Tennessee law, intimidation is listed as a class A misdemeanor. That includes threats to prevent anyone from voting, physical violence, or property damage. No one can be within 100 feet of the entrance to the polling place unless they are a voter going to cast their own ballot or they are accompanying someone who's going to be casting their own ballot. Voter Dennis Fisher believes people should feel safe when they go to the polls and not feel like someone is watching how they vote. I'm not so sure that there's going to be actual intimidation as much as there might be perceived intimidation. So that, that would be my concern. If you see an armed group at a polling station, you're urged to take note of what they are wearing. See if they are patrolling like law enforcement and see if they are provoking or threatening violence. Fisher, who frequently votes by mail, says intimidation wouldn't be a factor for him, but tells me he can see how it might be for other groups. I can see where some people may be concerned. For instance, my mother, if she went to the polls and somebody approached her, it might intimidate an 80-year-old woman. We have 22 days until Election Day. Remember, early voting runs from October 14th to October 29th. In downtown Memphis, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News. Continuing our coverage of making your vote count, absentee voting underway in Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi. Absentee voting is for anyone with mobility challenges who is at a higher risk of COVID-19 and who, who will be out of town during voting periods. So let's take a look at who's eligible to vote absentee in Mississippi. Anyone that's 65 years old or older and for any reason. If you have a temporary or permanent physical disability that makes it difficult to vote in person, and if you are someone you care for is under a doctor-imposed quarantine for COVID-19. Also, if you're a student, teacher, or administrator working or attending school outside your home county, you can also vote absentee in the Magnolia State. Others are eligible too in limited circumstances. Now we have all that information for you, plus how to get an absentee ballot in all three states on our website. Just go to localmemphis.com slash vote. Also, we've just updated our voter guide with sample ballots for all three states. So be sure to check that out while you're there.